In early 2018, I started wearing fake eyelashes and I really liked the way it looked. And I got my eyebrows microbladed a little bit after that. And I realized that that was such a, especially because I have PCOS and my skin breaks out very easily. And just, I'm lazy. I don't wanna spend a lot of time in the bathroom. So I have been using different types of fake eyelashes over a easy way to feel confident about my appearance without having to spend a lot of time applying makeup. I don't like to go out completely bare face, but I also don't like to wear a lot of makeup the uh, years and I've gotten pretty good at putting them on, but it still does take time. I found out from a friend about these magnetic eyelashes that I ordered last week and they're in the middle of being shipped. I don't know where they're at now. I tracked them the other day, but they should be here, I think, tomorrow. And from what I've heard, they are very easy to put on and take off. They're magnetic. The ones that I've looked at, so I don't want to start now. And then these other ones that I've got, they have this magnetic gel eyeliner. And I tried to put it on and it comes with like a brush and it was just crooked and it, it hurt. And that, um, in the past, you have to put a magnetic eyeliner on the top lid and the bottom lid. And I never wear eyeliner on the bottom. Um, so the, the eyeliner that comes now is, is just basically like the eyelash glue. I don't mind it. But I did notice that with eyelash glues that when I take it off, I always have like some left. I've used um, different makeup remover. I have this like makeup melt uh, that they said to use coconut oil. But again, I break out really easy. I can't use coconut oil even though it's natural. So anyways, I'm just kind of waiting for them to come and really just looking at how long it's taking to put a coat of mascara on, to put the glue on, to let it dry enough to stick on. And then there's always the fact of like when you, you have to be careful because if you get them in the wrong spot, then they're stuck there. At least with the magnetic ones from what I see, you can lift them off and reapply them so that they're positioned where you want them to be. Luckily, I've gotten pretty good at this compared to when I started. So I, for the most part, can get them in the right spot and I know how glue has to be. But there you go. It did take a couple minutes. So I'm going to show you once I get the magnetic ones, how long those take. But anyways, it didn't take too long, but if I could make it faster of a routine in the morning, I would be all for it. But so ta-da, microbladed eyebrows, fake eyelashes. That's it. Uh, people always hit me up for makeup and I'm like, dude, I have like tons of makeup. Don't wear it pretty low maintenance and I have bought a lot of things that I break out. But the only other thing that I add every once in a while is I have this um, highlighter for my, it's like Laura Mercier, I don't know how you say her last name. That is pretty light. Um, it doesn't make me break out. And then I have, I love this, the Urban Decay Naked Illuminated. Um, anything else, like if I put any like um, highlighter, bronzer, anything on my face, I will like start to break out there. And I've washed my brushes, all that. Does it make a difference? Another thing I don't really love about the eyelashes that I use is that when I close my eye, look, I got some of the glue there. So now I'm gonna have to get makeup remover and wipe it off. With the magnetic eyeliner, I'm hoping that that's not gonna be a thing. I'm in my bathroom hiding away. I think this is every mother's secret hiding spot where it's quiet and you get time to yourself. But the other day I was talking about how I really am a simple person when it comes to makeup. I have no clue on how to contour. I've tried different eyeshadows and I just, it's not my thing. But I also don't like to be bare faced. I have very short eyelashes and I've always wanted long eyelashes. So I finally made friends with false eyelashes but it takes time and with that comes a mess sometimes you drop them and you get glue I had glue all over my hands today um, and then when you take them off a lot of times it will end up on your lids um, and if you close your eyes sometimes the glue will come down here so when I have a friend who knows 
my beauty regimen, um, tell me about these magnetic lashes. I'm like, what the heck? It doesn't hurt to try. So, um, I was waiting for them to come. It seemed like it took a long time, but really it didn't. Um, it comes in a cute little box. Um, opening it for the first time. So this is fun. They're kind of messy, but it does look like fun. There are dance or cheer, and it, it always seems like the best inventions are made by people who are trying to fill um, a hole or create a solution for a problem they have or that they see in the industry. So with this kit um, comes the makeup remover and our red and gold little pieces of paper. And so I guess this is the founder. I heard she was this cute little lady um, that's a mom and she started this business and her daughter's in some sort of, I'm gonna try that tonight when I take my lashes off to get the glow off because it's really hard. And then I, sometimes I end up like rubbing my skin raw and or if I get the glue off, I lose eyelashes. Definitely, you don't wanna do that. Uh, so these are the lashes, all different like length, like going out day to day. Um, whatnot and this right here is the magnetic eyeliner and you don't have to put it on the lower lid like I had seen and I was told that they will ask anywhere from like 20 to 30 different wearings we will see I will count them um, they come in different lengths um, same thing with the ones that I own they I have them. it's super important to me that I don't have to put eyeliner on the bottom lid because I never have. I don't like the way it looks on me. Um, and again, maybe it's more that I just didn't like that extra step that it took um, when you're applying the makeup. Along with it comes with this that you use to apply the lashes, which I have several of them, but this one is just branded um, for them. And this, I'm gonna give to Emily because uh, as I said the other day, when it comes to my like um, skin, makeup, whatever routine, I have elected to have um, my eyebrows microbladed so that they always look, I think, good. But this right here is the brow and the liner kit. Emily is my kid that loves makeup. I actually have this whole pile over here of stuff to give her, so this will be one of them. So this is pretty cool. This is like a brow stencil. That you can use and fill it in with this so we'll see what we think I will give you my review um, see what I think I'm a very honest reviewer if I like it I will tell you if I don't like it I will tell you so stay tuned I watched some tutorials on how to apply these Tory Bell um, magnetic lashes because this is completely different than what I've been using and wearing for years. One of the reasons why I'm trying this is because I want something that doesn't take a long time and isn't messy. So if you look at the lashes that I have used for the last couple of years, um, they're only good for a couple wearings and as you can see on this box It's like full of all of the glue Today after washing my face last night using um, Makeup remover and and then doing it again today I still had the black glue and then I noticed as I was like pulling it off lashes were coming out That's the last thing I want. I already have very thin lashes and then I don't know if you can see, but here on one of the lashes I use, it's just full of glue. So you're always having to pick it off. And then a lot of times it will lose its shape or I've had it where it completely um, rips and then you get less use out of it. And these are just very, 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 you know, um, temporary. Like you can only use, wear them for a couple times. Um, but see right here, that is the glue. And then that's what gets stuck on your eyelashes. And one of the things that drives me crazy is these things aren't cheap. And then when you get them, um, depending on what type you get, um, sometimes I'll buy them where there's several in a um, in the kit, or other times I will get them where there's just like one. But what I found is when you go to pull these off, um, they lose its shape or you rip lashes out. And you can see right here on the one that I took off, there's a part that ripped off. So that's not cool. So um, I'm curious on these Tory Bell, how they're attached in this little cute little box, um, if it's gonna be a problem. 
Um, so there it is. Oh, cool. It just lifts off very easy. You don't have to worry about ripping it. So what I've read um, and what I've watched is that these are good for up to 30 wearings and all you have to do is you don't have to pick off any of the glue. You put the liner on and you wanna put it as close to your natural lash line and as far out as possible. You let it dry before you put it on and then when you're done wearing them and you take them off, all you need to do is take these little magnets and this one has six on there and use the um, shake it off makeup remover and just gently clean it off so it doesn't damage the lashes and another thing i read was if you if it's not fitting your eye shape which i have a totally different eye shape than most people is you can just bend it um they're you know you want to be careful with them but they're not that fragile so I'm gonna see how this turns out and I'm gonna wear them and let you know how I feel. I heard and, and read that there are extra like anchors that you can put down like if you're going out somewhere with like like high gusts of wind and you're worried about them coming off, um, but um, you have that ability. And what I like about this is that I have at times put on lashes and then it was to the right consistency where it was like somewhat tacky and it stuck and then it got stuck crooked and then it was like all misshapen. And so as long as you put the eyeliner on, then you can rearrange them and put them on correctly. And that's why I love that it's not really permanent um, and that you're not stuck with all of this glue on your lashes or um, on your case. And so also another thing I saw is that there are actually little small ones here that you can add if you want fuller or just depending on your eye shape. So we'll see how this goes. I'm putting on this mascara I'm used to putting on mascara before I put on my lashes. I've been told you don't need to, but one of the reasons why I'm wanting to do this is this mascara that I bought, I accidentally purchased in um, Waterproof, and I'm telling you, no matter what I've tried, I can't get it off. And so I'm wanting to see how this makeup remover that came with this set works. Like, is it going to get it off? So. One of the mistakes I make on any of these things is like when you pull the wand out, there's a lot of mascara and I've gotten in the habit of like getting it off there. That's the one thing that I have seen over and over and over again about the Magnitude Magnet um, Eyeliner um, is to not do that because that will dry it out. Um, it will make it really clumpy and that's not what you want. So. I'm gonna put this second coat of mascara on, let it dry, and then apply the eyeliner. All right, so one video said to let it dry for 30 seconds, another one said two minutes, so I'm gonna kinda go in between for about a minute. I got a little bit off track so I'm using the makeup remover and wow came off super easy which is so much better than the actual eyelash glue that I've been using and we'll see I have PCOS and so my skin is super oily and super sensitive I have to be very careful of what I use people have said oh use coconut oil to get the glue off and my face will break out I actually started using this, um, I think it's pronounced Frey. Um, it's really amazing because it's made for skin that sweats. So if you're somebody like me who works out, um, this is ideal. And it's the only thing that I can use and put on. Um, there is this moisturizer and this replenishing serum that I can put on at night or during the day and does not make my face break out. Like I literally can't wear foundation. I bought foundation that um, is made for skin that's sensitive, skin that breaks out, still breaks out. So anyways, I tried this because one of my friends was using it and she has PCOS, she works out all the time and I'm like, hey, if it works for her, it might work for me. Um, they just sent me something where you can get, I don't know, 25% off or 40% off. Um, if you're interested in trying it, let me know because it does come with a 30 day money back guarantee. I did try this, um, oil and I really didn't like it. I didn't like how it felt on my skin. This was like absorbed well, whereas this stayed greasy. So I went to 
return it because I wanted to get my money back because it had the 30 day money back guarantee. And I honestly don't buy anything unless it comes with that. Cause I figured they stand behind their product and guess what? They're like, keep it. Um, and we'll refund you. So I thought it's pretty cool that they were like, Hey, and they're like, we're always trying to improve. I'm like, what a cool company. All right, let's see how easy and how time consuming these are. So there's this little tool that you use that you can just set the lashes on. That was super easy. Super duper easy. You could feel the pull of the magnet, um, the the magnet on the lashes um, attached to the magnetized eyeliner. And just like that. And then stick. This one I need to rearrange. There. Modify it very easily. That didn't take very long and it's not messy. Um, my little thing right here, you can't probably tell because it's black, but it is full of the glue, which means that the lashes would get stuck to the glue and it would often. So now that I've looked up close in the mirror, I'm going to go with, I should have listened and not put the mascara on, but I was just a creature of habit and doing what I've been doing, but it's not necessary. Um, and I'm going to make sure that I get a lot of, closer to the natural lash line and not leave any gap and of course I did so because it's kind of hard when you're doing it through a phone camera but other than that uh, it seems like it's great I am going to try these see if they indeed last 30 wearings because um, I'll use them every day and then I'll probably try out the other different um, kinds they have like a nine to five a I don't know ladies night different ones just depending on the occasion so overall, seem happy, uh, not messy, very easy to apply, looks pretty good. Um, what I like about it too is the eyeliner doesn't actually have to be perfect. You can actually put it over the eyeliner that you would have already been naturally applying. Um, I think you can actually put it on over it if you want to correct it, but it seems pretty doable and fits into like my type of like daily routine.